Now, in honour of Bloomsday today, we're serving up a traditional Bloomsday breakfast. Liam Lockney from Woodstock in Fibsborough joins us and we're serving up lamb kidneys. Morning, Liam. Good, Good to morning. have you with us. Um, now, just not putting pressure or, or anything, but there's been a little bit of blowback about the kidneys. Yeah. There are a lot of people who aren't fans and you're mm. going to change everybody's perceptions about that this morning. Yes, I suppose Bloomsday is associated with pork kidneys, which mm. are a very strong flavour and take a lot more care when cooking. So tonight, we're do today we're doing lamb's kidneys. Which oh, are gee. So when we were chatting earlier kidney. on, Liam, I said to you, oh, this recipe was obviously popular 100 years ago, you know, obviously around uh, Joyce's time and Ulysses. And you said, no, we actually serve it in the restaurant now. Yeah. Uh, and is it popular with diners today? It is. Yeah. It is. Well, I think not the younger diners. The younger <laughs> diners have well, forgotten. Okay. Okay. You get started yeah. there. We won't hold okay. you back. Sorry. Well, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just yeah. start with these. It's funny. It's something that we, I would have had um, in, in steak and kidney yeah. pies or stews. My mother used to put kidneys into stew, and I loved it when I was a kid. So it is. It's waiting to be rediscovered there. So what are you doing first, Liam? So I'm just going to heat the pan, oil it up, okay. and we're just going to. A bit of rapeseed oil or something, is it? Yes. Yeah. Don't, okay. go, don't go rapeseed oil. Oh, Only the best. Here's okay. Only the best. <laughs> and <laughs> you're Season seasoning them. that? Seasoning those. Get them on the go. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Will nice your butcher simple. prepare them to that stage for you? You prepare them to this stage, and then what you have to do yourself, you're going to have to split it down the middle, take off the outside membrane. So the skin comes off? Skin comes off. Now, uh, you can use a small sharp knife, or the best thing actually is a scissors, just to get this tight membrane out of here. So that you need little... a strong stomach to do yeah. that. I yeah. Think. yeah. No, I'm, 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 I'm cool with this. Yeah. I'm cool with this. So that is pretty much... People have been eating it for centuries, Laura. Yeah. So that is, that is ready to go. <laughs> Generally, I'd Perfect. cook it large like that, but they cut them smaller, they'll cook a little bit quicker for me. So yeah. how long um, on the pan, then, each side? Generally, I would like pink kidneys. Okay. Pink. Um, if you cook them well, they get a little bit tough, so you yeah. should have a little bit of, little bit of red, a little bit of thickness in them. Don't be afraid of them. Do you have a medium heat on there, Liam, just so you don't burn? Obviously, we don't burn yeah. inside them. Medium to high. You need, you need to get a good bit of colour on them. Colour going on them. Yeah. Is, is that the problem with with offal in general, with with kidneys and liver? Is that people tend to just cook the the genie out of it and the yeah, and it's, it's like liver, especially liver will yeah. probably taste like the bottom of your shoe if you cook yeah. fully. Yeah. It does need to be cooked pink. Really. Um, the, the smell actually is gorgeous. They are gorgeous. It's we just uh, my children won't eat them. No. Kids today won't eat them. Kids Maybe don't today. tell them what it is though. But it is Kids wasteful today. because we are, you know, nose for tail eating is is the way to go, you know. Yeah. Well, it's very ethical, isn't it? It's very wasteful yeah, just to be true. throwing out the bits. So you get a good yeah. colour on your kidneys. What we're going to do then is we are going to add some Marsala wine. Right. Now, if there's a gas hob, you'll probably get. A face full of flames. Yeah. So just be careful, be careful of that. Marsala okay. is that a, a, it's a fortified wine? Yeah. Right. So it's um, kind of sweet, sweet, Swedish. So let's just let that burn off and then add your cream to it. Lovely. Oh, the smell is. If you can't get strong. your hands on marsala for some reason, is there anything you could substitute? Any fortified wine. Yeah. Will do. Um, if I got a little more heat here, it'd be good. <laughs> so that cream needs well. that cream needs yeah. to reduce for okay. a couple of minutes. So the cream reduces right down. Yeah. So you're right really down. bringing sort of a, a yeah. lightness to the dish. Then with we the put cream. a little touch of mustard in it. Okay. Just a bit of depth of flavour. Is that Dijon mustard? That is Dijon. It is indeed. You're really I'm excited about this dish. Well, it's something different. You know, it's very... We've been doing this show for, what, three years? Yeah. And it's very rare that something comes on that we've never had before. It's because it was popular 116 years ago. Exactly. I think it's popular when we were growing, too. We'd have stuffed lamb's hearts, liver and bacon. Yeah. It is just really good food. Not, not where Laura grew up. No. It was, it was filet mignon every day <laughs> in the Woods household. <laughs> Far from it, but I don't so, think I've ever eaten hard. What I'm serving that is, um, <laughs> you can serve with toast, sardo toast. Um, what it goes very well with uh, is a bit of toasted brioche. Lovely. Which actually tends to soak up all the juices and yeah. it just makes it. Um, brioche toast a bit quicker than normal. Yes, bread, it's, it? so it's you... a large butter content, so it will oh, burn lovely. very fast. Lovely. So you've got um, butter, cream and marsala already. Butter, cream, so marsala, then finish off with some parsley. You're going to turn people we'll around on that curly. one. So it's a it, simple dish and traditionally would have been eaten at breakfast time. Traditionally, you just pan fry it with butter, add it with your bacon and your sausage and your pudding, and it's um, just a really nice addition to your breakfast. Lovely. Should we dish and up and try it we'll anyway? Dish it up. Yeah, it's ready to go. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, it's ready to go. Looking forward to this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. I'll leave some for you, Laura, don't worry. Thanks, Amelia. <laughs> Normally, you never leave anything for me. <laughs> you get the first taste. Oh, thank you. Later on, we are doing mushrooms and toast, though, which I'm quite yes. excited yeah. about here. We, have a, we do have to look we after the vegetarians. 
let me grab a fork. So you're going to do um, mushrooms. So if people are a little bit put off or maybe not, yeah. don't um, have the strong stomachs. Mushrooms um, do have a kind of a uh, meaty Senator texture. David Norris is joining us to taste the, the perfect mm. man to taste Rob. this beautiful dish. Good morning to I you, sir. How are you? I'm by the wonderful aroma. Oh, mm. are you? Well, here yeah. you go. Described by Joyce Senoras as Mr. Leopold Bloom, ate with relish the inner organs of beasts and fowls. He liked particularly uh, grilled mutton kidneys, which mm. gave to his palate a fine tang of faintly scented urine. Well, that is not encouraging <laughs> me to taste. Isn't that That's what it was? No, it's horrific, actually. <laughs> but we'd love That's you to try it. Oh, I certainly will. It smells on, beautiful and looks gorgeous. And I think lamb kidneys are more, more appropriate for today's. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, so. Good choice, Liam. Mm -hmm. David, happy. do you like? Great. Absolutely lovely. Wonderful. And we'll be chatting to you later on. Molto delicioso. <laughs> give us another bit of Ulysses there to, to sum up the emotions. <laughs> Now, well, a stately, plump buck mulligan came from the stairhead bearing a bowl of lather on which a mirror and a razor lay crossed. Oh, I'm, in so I'm in the mood. Brilliant Gorgeous. stuff. Senator Norris is staying with us. Uh, see you in a few minutes.